Hello everyone, I'm back. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Sudabe and I'm an Iranian designer living in the Netherlands. Today we are going to create something that you might find tricky yet very useful. The texture of vector glass. It's easier than you think. Don't you believe me? See for yourself. I've already prepared this sketch where we have a pitcher and a cup made out of glass, arranged in this refreshing lemonade composition. I'm going to start with the background elements with the pen tool. This is my usual creative process. I don't need this until the end, so let's hide this layer for now. Moving on to the picture, let's start with this opening which gives a 3D feel to my object. It was a sort of teardrop shape. And I will color it light blue. Let's continue with the body. Just tap and drag in the direction the pad needs to take. This corner can remain angular, so I just need to tap once. We need to give this shape a different color, so I'll make it brighter because it has more direct light. Let's place it in the back from quick actions. The handle is very easy. I just make this with the oval tool. Duplicate it, scale it down, and then subtract the smaller shape from the bigger one. And our handle is done. Now for the contents of our picture, we are going to start by giving some volume. So we are drawing an oval here at the top. And then I'm tracing the lemonade. Notice how I leave some space between the liquid and the pitcher to suggest the thickness of the glass. And here I'm coloring the lemonade a bit darker. You can adjust any of your shapes with the node tool. Okay, now an important step is adding shadow, so draw a neat curve inside the picture and just close it randomly outside. Let's duplicate the picture first, then select the shadow shape and the picture copy, and finally intersect. To give it a shadow effect, there is a simple trick. Apply Multiply Blending Mode. I really like to adjust the opacity as well for a more natural look. Alright, the opposite of shadow is highlight, which needs to sit on the left side of the picture. And I'm going to make some very geometric shapes. Very angular, sharp, and quite big. Glass is a very reflective surface, and it will bounce off a lot of light. To make it look more natural, play with opacity again. I prefer to leave it at around 50%. Ok, let's repeat all these steps for the cup and come back for the rest of the details. When creating a cup, be mindful that I went a slightly different route here. I made the glass shape, then the lemonade shape, and then I applied the white. Placed my object behind the wall on top, and deleted the excess objects.
I added a simple straw shape in the middle, but no worries, we'll make it look better in a bit. In the meantime, I moved on to the limes, because we'll use the limes outside the picture as a reference for the limes inside. To create the lime, just draw two ovals, one on top of each other. Then draw this darker shape, which you'll have to place in the back. To top it all off, I'm creating these simple white lines with the pen tool. At my core, I am an icon designer and I love keeping things minimal and simple, yet effective. There's a lot of beauty in simplicity, I think. Moving on, let's focus on our glass again. I want to draw a slice of lime inside the pitcher, which folds half in, half out the lemonade. So, we'll be working with two transparent mediums here. First, draw the lime as you normally would. Quick tip here, use the other lime to pick up the colors with the eyedropper tool. Now it's time for some cool effects. First, I'll duplicate the lemonade and be mindful that we need this duplicate to follow the shape of the oval on top. So use the node tool for this step. Okay, now let's select the lemonade copy and my two circles and divide. So now I have this half lemon shape. Let's bring it back to its original color because we'll need to add more yellow to the green by moving this dot to the yellow spectrum. Since this second color is already pretty yellow, I'll just make it a smidge darker. Delete the lemonade copy and this is the effect we want. For final touches, add the white lines and a few fizzy bubbles here and there. Going back to the straw, let's follow the same technique, with the difference that the straw goes through three mediums, lemonade, glass and air. And remember when we're creating the glass and use the Y? It's that operation that gave us all these individual shapes here. Okay, so we have a copy of the lemonade, a copy of the upper glass. And let's readjust the upper part of the glass so it follows this curve. Then select the two copies and the straw and apply the white again. Now the straw will be made of three separate parts which we'll need to color differently. Let's start from brown and go lighter from there. And for the parts that's in the lemonade, we'll start with brown and go darker instead. A lot of explanations for a process that will become second nature once you practice, I promise. That's it. So what do you guys think? Is it hard to create a glass effect? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if it was helpful and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!